Hello, I'm Ilse Ras. And I'm Christiana Gregorio. And we've been looking at the metaphors that are used in a number of corporate model slavery statements that have been published by some major multi-channel retailers in the UK. We look at metaphors in particular because metaphors give us a unique insight in how people understand particular aspects of an issue. Very basically, through metaphors we take what we know of a relatively familiar concept or a relatively simple concept and apply that to a relatively unfamiliar or complex concept to understand it better. The statements we examined were published by Max Spencer, John Lewis and Mavicare in 2016, 2017 and 2018. The reason we chose to look at statements generated by these companies in particular is because these companies have contributed to efforts um, made in Britain against what in the UK tends to be termed modern slavery. One of the recurring metaphors that we have found is the understanding of modern slavery as an unwanted substance that is located in the conduit of the supply chains. And this unwanted substance is then further described as spreading or growing. This suggests that modern slavery is understood as perhaps a virus or a stain. And indeed, Marks and Spencer is right about no company or industry being untainted by this issue or not being immune to this issue and that there is a need for diagnosis. In line with this uh, virus metaphor is the response of so-called eradication of the so-called issue. Related responses draw from the source domain of violence with wording such as tackling, targeting and combating the so-called issue. And we find that such metaphors are problematic because they justify physically violent responses such as in the form of police raids, which very often further traumatise and harm those already exploited. In this regard, it's also very problematic that workers tend to be described as objects and grammatically have very little agency. They are also located in the same place in the supply chain as the stain or virus of modern slavery. This may lead some companies to consider just excising that part of the supply chain rather than improving conditions there. But that would leave these workers without however little security is afforded by their exploited and precarious position. As the statements of Max Spencer, John Lewis and Mothercare can be taken as examples of good practice, they in particular have a responsibility to be aware not just of what they're doing, but also uh, how it is that they're talking about what they're doing, uh, not to mention the effects of both.